So you're probably wondering why. Why is he holding a pile of trash? Well, these are my Nelson Rig Sierra Dry 30 liter saddlebags. The comments and opinions in this video are my own, based on my experience with the product. I was not paid by any manufacturer or retail outlet to make this video. I purchased this product with my own money. I chose this product using my experience based on my own research. Please do your own research. I am not a professional reviewer or journalist. All right, these are my saddlebags, and they have about 40,000 miles on them, gone through two motorcycles. And the other night, I'll leave a picture here. They um, met a rock ledge on a shelf road. and uh, tore this bag off. They actually didn't tear it completely off. These bags are pretty darn tough. I hit the, the rock wall on the shelf road and I thought I hit something with my front tire. It almost sent me off the shelf road. And little did I know that this bag was, was still dangling. It took about a 10 mile trip out of the desert onto a, onto a highway and probably about five miles down on a highway I realized that there was something flapping around in the back and it was this right hand side bag. I kind of wanted to memorialize these things because they've been on a lot of trips and spent a lot of miles with me and they are worth every penny. So you say what, what are you going to do with reviewing a, a bunch of garbage here? I'll show you. I was so impressed by the performance of these bags over the last six years in 40,000 miles and their toughness the other night that I procured another set of bags. I was able to get these in a couple of days. I paid for myself, I paid for these myself, I paid for these myself. And they're way less than 200 bucks. I paid about 160 bucks to my door. You know, the adventure motorcycle crowd can be pretty snobbish about gear and have motorcycles and whatnot. If you've been around for a while, you know that. I've had folks turn up their nose at them when I've recommended these bags to, to me, but I can buy three or four sets of these for what people pay for the premium bags. These lasted every bit as long, and they were every bit as tough. Um, they hold 30 liters of gear, actually 28 liter, 28.7 liters, I think is the official. I overload these. These are actually overloaded right now. They're waterproof, they're dustproof, um, and like I said, they're, they're tough as nails. I've been a Nelson Rig customer for, well, since the 90s anyway, and when I uh, was out shopping for saddlebags six years ago, these guys popped up. I think that was right around the time that these came out. I'm not 100% sure. The Nelson Rig name uh, made me go to them and I've been happy ever since and purchased another set. I could pur purchase a third and a fourth set for what some of these other premium, quote unquote, premium companies are. These do everything that you would want them to. Um, they come in black. I believe they come in yellow, which yellow would clash with my orange bike here. But. Um, like I said, they hold everything that you could possibly want for 30 liters. I put a um, duffel bag over top just to fill out my gear. That's not it. That's a non-Nelson rig deal. But uh, you know, I have my tool tool saddle bags. But everything in here, I've got um, clothing. I take extra water up because I'm in the desert. And tools. There's there's um, most everything to support my camping and adventure uh, inside these bags. Before I go and show you the benefits and features, this bag dragged along desert trail, which is rocky, bounced along, hit the exhaust several times. Um, I mean, look at the support system that's in there. It's heavy duty plastic. It's sewn on really well. I mean, it ha hung on essentially by, by these three little things and dragged along the highway um, at 65, 70 miles an hour. 
they have like a rub shield here that's exclusive of the bags and they go over the top these are what actually support the weight and I've had say people say oh those are going to fail it's just velcro these held on this bag this is the bag that, that was still on the bike this this bag still held on along with this side of the saddle bag and still supported the weight or supported it by most of the weight supported by these straps these side straps actually uh, act as uh, anti-flop straps but they also do I think they handle some of the weight although the um, instructions say that you're not supposed to tighten these up too much inside Inside are these stiffener straps or stiffener plates and they hold the bag in position and allow you to get a lot more stuff in there and also act as a pretty good um, if you do go down or whatever and uh, I have been down on these bags before um, several times I mean in the course of riding off-road you're gonna meet terra firma every once in a while and these done have done very well um, this also kind of protects your stuff I'm not a fan of hard bags. I like soft bags. They're not gonna break your leg. And in the case of that shelf road incident, a uh, set of hard bags probably would have sent me right over the edge. These gave way and allowed me to go, uh, go on with my day and really not even know what was going on. Um, but inside these bags are these uh, bag liners. These are great. Um, they're very lightweight, um, but they're strong, strong as heck. Put a lot of gear in there, allows you to slip them in and out. I'll usually put some gear inside there and take my, uh, maybe my like clothing, cookware and stuff like that, and then um, put that inside. Let's look at the, uh, let's look at the new bags. So new bags are going to take some breaking in. Um, still need to um, tighten up these straps. I have installed them. These are the uh, uh, the rub panels. I don't know what they're officially called. These are the straps, the weight support straps that go over the top. They're plenty durable. There's two straps that hold the top together. So you've got these two over straps and you can strap gear up there. Plus there's straps that go down the sides that hold this down and then hold your uh, waterproof roll together. Plus there's four um, anti-flap straps I'll call them but these are somewhat weight supporting also front and rear um, I've added a couple of things I've added these uh, Molly strap maintenance little deals there and I've ad also added some things from another company called flappy strappies they uh, they also do some strap management I'm not too much into cutting straps down because you may need the length at some point in time they do have reflective strips across both sections these things are, are rock solid they don't move around some of the upgrades I believe the straps are thicker than my last bags they've got black appliances these were silver before those were still black there's also d-rings on all four corners so you can add more stuff to this I mean they've got they're waterproof 100% uh, waterproof uh, they're dust proof um, dust can infiltrate I think sometimes with more with more tenacity than water and I've never had any dust in these bags got a nice ride gear adventure uh, logo on the side I mean they're a pretty nice looking bag it's a little bit shiny right at the moment but uh, they get a little a little patina on them to get a little road patina and uh, and they look even nicer to me I like things that are a little bit dusty so if you're looking for a set of bags they're a third or a quarter of the cost of some of the other bags that are out there they're every bit as good as the other bags uh, like I said I've got 40,000 miles on those two motorcycles minor off-road uh, uh, 
incidents and a pretty pretty good one the other day and they've held up to all of it they've always got my gear home uh, like i said i highly recommend soft bags especially if you're off-road and i really recommend nelson rig uh, sierra dry bags um, get yourself a set i'm not being paid for this this is uh, strictly um, out of my pocket and my own using my own channel to promote these bags because I think uh, folks out there that are looking for a set of bags appreciate you watching please comment subscribe like and share adios